Hello, this is John Rankin with the TEI International, TEII.org. This is vignette number two of 41 on the life of Muhammad as sourced in Ibn Itzhak. And to see these vignettes and the links to them, you can go to John Rankin, YouTube.org. Muhammad's calling and fear of the demonic. Muhammad's calling happens through internal witness alone. No other human being experiences it with him, and none can testify to the source of the voice, nor of the presence of an angel. He receives this calling at age 40 when Allah sent him in compassion to mankind as an evangelist to all men. A universal mission is in place. As a man who loves solitude, Muhammad is once in a mountain cave overlooking Mecca. There the angel Jibreel appears to him in a dream and tells him to read a coverlet of brocade with writing on it. Jibreel said, read. I said, what shall I read? He pressed me with it so tightly that I thought it was death. Then he let me go and said, read. I said, what shall I read? He pressed me with it again so that I thought it was death. They let me go and said, read. I said, what shall I read? He pressed me with it a third time so that I thought it was death and said, read. I said, what then shall I read? And this I said only to deliver myself from him, lest he should do the same thing again. He said, read in the name of the Lord who created, who created man of blood coagulated. Read. Thy Lord is the most beneficent, who taught by the pen, taught that which they knew not unto men. So I read it, and he departed from me. And I awoke from my sleep, and it was as though these words were written on my heart. The image is one of the mighty angel Jibril, pressing deathly hard against his very breath, and putting him into a corner apart from which he has no option but to submit. Muhammad is disturbed with the dream and flees a cave saying, Woe is me, poet or possessed. I will go to the top of the mountain and throw myself down that I may kill myself and gain rest. Muhammad does not want to be known as a poet, an important place in Arabian society, but also one that is distant from his own sensibilities. And even more so, people think he is a dreamer or is possessed. He resists his call as he is a afraid of being called a poet and b afraid that his vision is demonic in origin but then muhammad testifies to a vision of jibril in the form of a man with feet astride the horizon calling him the apostle of allah he maintains uncertainty and tells his wife khadija and cousin waraka b nafal about it khadija assures him that he is to be the prophet of the people, and, O son of my uncle, rejoice and be of good heart. By Allah, he is an angel and not a demon. The question continues to haunt Islam. Why does Muhammad consider the possibility that the angelic message is demonic in origin? Jesus. The calling of Jesus is public with many eyewitnesses as the angels reveal themselves to Joseph and Mary and the shepherds, and the Holy Spirit speaks through a prophet and a prophetess in public. The idea of angelic coercion is foreign. His calling is affirmed among those being baptized by John and later with the disciples as the Father speaks from the heavens for all to hear. This is my son whom I love, listen to him. And immediately after his baptism, Jesus goes to the wilderness to confront and refuse the devil's temptations. Thank you so much and God bless.